Now you're known to give some incredible shows, man. Like you don't just stand on the stage. Like the whole, like anywhere is a performance for you. Like yeah. you, you step off stage. I mean, you know, stage is, you know, it's cool and all, but you know, I'm, I, I grew up in that, that wrestling ECW. I, I, I built my show after that, mm -hmm. like watching ECW in the Elks Lodge. Mm. They would be jumping off of the balcony and flying into the crowd. That's really where I got my show from. It all stems from that. From wrestling. Like, extreme wrestling. It's mm. like some real, like it's like some underground rap shit. Right. Big in Philly and big in Queens because that's where the two arenas were. Mm. Now, action, man. One thing I appreciate about you, man, is, is from when we first met, you always seemed like you was a natural, man. It didn't seem like this was hard for you, man, or like if it was even, if it was even work for you, man. Mm. Um, I mean. I don't know, I really don't know how this came about and how I actually have this, whatever you want to call it, like knack for rapping, honestly, because I, you know, I mean, I guess growing up, I, you know, I knew every word to like every album that I had. Mm -hmm. I've always been a fucking musical child, I guess, mm. you know, like, I, like I said, I knew not only just rap, but I know fucking albums back to front. Mm. Like, even like a Metallica, this is how I think of it sometimes, a Metallica album. I wouldn't know like all the words, but I would be able to like hum every like face melter solo that they got. Mm. You know what I mean? Face melter. Yeah, the face melters. Mm. I would know every note and be able to hit like a Carlos Santana song. I wouldn't mm. sing. I would be hitting the notes. You know what so, I mean? So you, you're, you're naturally melodic. I would imagine. Okay. Yo, action, man. A couple of years ago, I met you. The first time I met you in person, we had a blizzard, snowstorm. Mm -hmm in New York City, snowstorm. Coldest day in New York City. We're down by the Wall Street area, so it's extra cold. You come to the office, you got the snorkel on and a pair of shorts. Yeah. <laughs> you don't wear long pants. I mean, I've worn long pants in the past month, three times. Or three four. times. But it has to have one leg up. Really? At all times. Now, what's, what's the deal with the, with, the short, with the shorts, man? Well, you know, it's just comfort. It's not yeah. like a thing. It's like my it's thing. Not a, it's not a fashion thing. You're not doing it to be... I'm not, I'm not that guy, man. Fancy. I got, the fucking, I got the fucking tank top from Walmart. <laughs> I'm ready to go swimming right now. I'm in the trunks. This is summer New York shit. Right, of course. I'm not wearing... But leather. this was a blizzard, my dude. Your legs don't get cold? No. Viking. Some Viking shit. That Viking shit, yeah. right? That's what it is, right? It is, man. I, you know, I like, I like the air conditioning, the swoop. Okay. Now, when I first heard you, um, and, and this is what I liked about you, this is back in, I want to say, uh, 11. Somebody played me. I think it's probably off your first mixtape. Mm -hmm. And some, somebody played me a track, and I said on Twitter that you sounded like the white ghost face. Yeah. And you hit me back on Twitter. It's like, no, I sound like the white action bronze. Uh-huh. Has that caused a problem for you, man? Like the similarities between some of your deliveries and Ghostface's deliveries? Um, no, not in my life. Right. And I don't think in his life. Either. Did that used to piss you off? No, it doesn't piss me off because first off, in my mind, there's nothing similar about me and Ghostface. There is a little similarity. I don't feel. I don't right. feel that's the case. And I've, you know, I. I feel like I'm. I'm more. I, sometimes I'm, my voice kind of sounds like Fat Joe's. Mm. Is it, it varies. Right. But mm. then, you know, you could fucking say, this person sounds like this person. Why doesn't anyone else get that type of criticism? Mm. You know, that this person, because there's many people out there that sound like many people. Right. You know, I'm just, I have my voice. I can't put on voices. I rap in this voice. Right. And you're not trying to sound no, like. No, I don't try and sound like, and right. I try and sound like myself. Right. I don't listen to anybody's music but my own. Mm. Mm. And that, like, you know, rap wise. Right. I listen to my shit. So you don't listen to anybody's shit that's out right now? I'm, I'm not gonna say that, because you know, I always say, that I listen to Schoolboy. Schoolboy is one of my favorite right. rappers now. Um, but I listen to, a, like, I analyze, I sit there and analyze my own shit a lot, you know? Now, one thing that's been consistent about your career is you've done projects with specific producers. Yeah. Do you like working with specific producers? Because, I mean, the trend seems right now that, that the artists come out and they want to work with everybody. Do you like like being in that zone with a specific like a like like yes. to answer that I do like being in the zone and once you get in the zone I don't feel that you should be stopping it by any means just to go you know work with a name right. you know I don't care about names I care about music and right. it could be any motherfucker I don't care who it is if you bring me something crazy I want to rhyme on it I'm using it 
Who do you want to work with, man, producer-wise? I mean, I know it's not about the names, um, but who, do you, who would you want to fuck with that you haven't worked with? I don't know, like, a lot of people off top. I know older dudes that I would want to work like, obviously, P-Rock, mm. uh, Premier, mm. RZA. These, mm. I mean, but, you know, this is all past prime, you right. know, like, to work with them now would be like, I'm trying to, you know, recapture something that happened in the 90s. Right. And I'm not for that. And I feel like- Not you know, for trying to recapture, not, or not being phony or fake or- It's not being phony or fake. You know, these guys are idols to me. Right. And I would love to work with them. Um, but not to rehash, not to bring back- Yes, not to, move yeah, I'm forward. not like, you know, what we say 90s, right? I'm not, right. I'm not that guy, you know? Right. I, lo I grew up then, I love that. I'm a New York rapper, I'm, but I like all types of shit, so I'm not just gonna do one type of music. Right. Now you, from what I understand, it doesn't take you too long to create songs. Like, sometimes it takes you 15 minutes to make a, a record? I mean, you know, it's not, when, when you feel it, you feel it, right. you know? Sometimes I can't write for days because, you know, like I'm just in my own mind. But sometimes a beat comes on and fucking song's done in 20 minutes. But you've created hits in like 15 minutes. I wouldn't call it's, it it's, hits, but it just, but, but yeah. it just comes to you. Not fucking hits, but good rap. Action, when is the greatest hits coming out, man? So, Action, bro. As soon as they <laughs> pop, dogs. <laughs>